What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your battery par 61 rechargeable RGB WA plus UV par light. They're available in two colors of black and white but the setup for each of them is the exact same. So as you open up the box you'll see that it comes with the light itself, an attachable dual bracket so we can hang the light up to a truss or angle it in different positions from the ground, a power cable to power the light from a wall outlet or even to charge the light up since it is rechargeable. So as you take the cable and plug it into the light, you'll see that this LED lights up to indicate that it's charging. If the light is completely dead, it'll usually take about 5 hours to fully charge, and after that the light will last from 12 to 18 hours off the battery itself. It also comes with an IR remote so you can set the light to different modes or colors. So one of the first things we can do to set up the light is attach the dual bracket. To do that, we'll take the bracket and the two screw knobs and feed them through the holes on each side of the bracket. So next we'll take these washer pieces and feed them through the screws themselves. After that, we'll take the whole bracket and line up these screws here to the screw holes on each side of the light and then just tighten the screws up to lock them in place. So when you're using the battery par 61 for wall washing, you can use the rubber feet on the bottom of the light so that the light will shine completely up or you can use the dual bracket to angle the light towards your wall. So if you're using the rubber feet, you're just gonna take the light and place it flush against the wall. And if you're going to angle your light, you're gonna place it a few inches away from your wall and then angle the position of the light until the light hits the wall how you want it. Now the dual bracket is really cool because on top of using it on the floor to angle our light, we can also use it to mount our light to a truss. For a truss mount setup, you're going to need a lighting clamp like our very own Rockville LCC. 70. Then to attach the clamp onto our PAR light, we're going to first start by taking out this bolt here. Then you're going to take your bolt and run it through the two holes here on the bracket and then screw it back onto the light clamp. Then to attach the light clamp onto your truss, you're going to loosen this screw here, hook it onto the truss, and then tighten the screw so that the light is secure to the truss. And since this light is battery powered with a rechargeable battery, you can leave it hanging on your truss without having to run a power cable. Just remember the light typically lasts from 12 to 18 hours. And there's even an LED indicator that tells you how much battery life you have. So when it comes time to recharge your light, all you need to do is take the included power cable and plug it into your wall. Another setup that uses the rubber feet on the bottom of the light is when you're using the light to light up a totem stand or a DJ facade. To use the battery par in a totem stand like our very own RTB32W, all you'll want to do is lift up the scrim and place the light in the middle of the totem stand like so. For setting up your par light with a DJ facade, it's going to be very simple similar to wall washing. So you're just going to take the par light and line it up flush with the inside of your DJ facade. And depending on how big your facade is, you can use even more par lights to give it a more illuminated effect. Now there's plenty of light mode options that we can use with the battery par 61 that we can toggle through with the buttons underneath the LED display on the bottom of the light. So let's go ahead and turn on the battery par 61. To change the mode on your light, you're just going to use this mode button here. And once you're on a mode, you can go up and down the numbers using the up and down buttons here and then press the enter button to set any of the changes you made. You can also use the included IR remote to select through the modes instead of using the buttons on the light itself. So now let's go over some of the modes on the battery par 61. Starting with the sound mode labeled SOU, this will change the color of the light whenever there's sound picked up from the built-in microphone. There are four different controls for this feature, including a color change, color fade, a color change plus strobe, and a color change fade and strobe all together. So just to show off one of the sound features, we'll put it into sound mode right now. Now as I start to make some sound, you'll see the color of the light start to change. The CO mode acts as a manual color change mode, and we can use the up and down button to set which color we want the light set to. We can automatically cycle through each color with the CC mode, and use the up and down button to set the speed in which the colors switch. We can put the light into a pulse mode with the EE setting. Again, we can use the up and down buttons to control the speed of the pulse. There's also a color fade mode with the FF setting. There's a strobe mode with the ST setting. The IRCL mode allows you to turn on and off the infrared remote sensor, which allows you to turn off the ability to use the included remote. For a full look of all of the settings you can use with the light, check out our cheat sheet here. Now since this is a RGB WA plus UV light, there are six different modes where we can adjust the intensity of either the red LEDs, the green LEDs, the blue LEDs, the white LEDs, the amber LEDs, or the ultraviolet LEDs. Now if you don't want to mess around with the back panel or if it's out of reach, you can always use the included IR remote. With it, we can set the light to the six main colors of red, green, blue, white, 
amber, and ultraviolet. We can also set different color variations with the wireless remote, as well as different mode options like auto, strobe, fade, and sound mode. Now if you have multiple battery PAR61 set up in a row, you can use just one IR remote to control them all. Just keep in mind that the lights have to be in a line of sight distance in order for the one IR remote to work. Now say you have multiple battery PAR61s together in a stage production or a live venue setup and you want even more control over your lights, there are two DMX modes of 6 channel and 10 channel that you can use with the battery PAR61 and a DMX controller. 6 channel mode gives you basic control over the six colors, while 10 channel mode gives you control over the colors and activating the preset modes. Using the 6 channel mode or the 10 channel mode is completely dependent on your specific needs and on how much control you want to have over your lights. To set up your light with a DMX controller, you'll just need the DMX controller itself and a DMX cable. You'll just take the male end of your DMX cable and plug that into your DMX controller. Then you'll take the other end and plug that into the DMX in on your PAR light. Next you'll want to make sure that your light is set to one of the two DMX modes. To do that you'll go to the CHND setting, press enter, and then set which setting you want from there. For today we'll set it to the 10 channel mode. So next we'll want to go into the mode settings and set the DMX address to A001 and then press enter to set it there. So next on your DMX controller you'll want to set all your scanners on like so. So now let's go through all of the faders. Starting with fader 1, this acts as your master fader so you'll want to have that all the way up. So next we'll raise fader 2 and you'll see that controls our red LEDs. And depending on where you leave the fader, that will determine the intensity of the LED. Fader 3 controls the green LEDs and fader 4 will control the blue LEDs. Moving on, fader 5 will control the white LEDs. Fader 6 controls the amber LEDs. And Fader 7 will control the ultraviolet LED here. And if I want to turn the light off altogether, I can just lower Fader 1 all the way down. Now Fader 8 controls our strobe mode. And same thing, depending on where you leave your fader, it will determine the intensity of the strobe. So if I raise it all the way up, strobe goes crazy. Set it to the middle. Not as much. Now Fader 9 controls all of the different modes that we can use with the battery PAR61. So when you move the fader up and down, it corresponds to this number here on the display of your DMX controller. And depending on where you set your fader, it will activate a specific mode. So for example, if I raise Fader 9 anywhere from 101 to 150, that will set my light to a color fade mode. You can see the complete cheat sheet for Fader 9 here. And lastly, Fader 10 will control the color speed of whichever mode you're in. So for example, I have the light set at color fade mode right now, and as I raise Fader 10, you'll see the colors start to fade into each other faster. Now if you wanted to set up a second battery PAR61 to your chain, you'll just need another DMX cable. Plug the male end into the DMX out on your first light, then plug the other end into the DMX in on your second light. Then like on our last light, we'll set the DMX mode to 10 channel mode, and then we'll also want to set the DMX address to A001. So now if I start to use my DMX controller, you'll see that both lights now are being controlled. Now if you don't want to use a DMX controller, but you still want to have multiple PAR lights controlled in sync, you can always use the master slave function. This setup is almost identical to the last, so we'll leave the DMX address set up to A001 on both lights. We'll also want to make sure they're set to the same DMX mode. In this case, we'll leave them both at 10 channel. And then you'll also want to have your DMX cable connected to the two lights, with the DMX cable running out of the DMX out on the master light into the DMX in on your slave light. So if I take my IR remote, point it at my master light and start to change color, you'll see that it also affects our slave light. This will also work with our mode presets, so if I set it to sound mode, start to make some sound, yeah, you'll start to see that both lights start to change color. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your battery PAR61 rechargeable RGB WA plus UV PAR light. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.